video. So today I'm going to have a quick look at Ubuntu 19.10, the beta that's recently been put online. Um, I've just installed the full version, not the minimal install. Haven't really done anything apart from install GNOME Tweak Tool as well, so we can have a look at the new light theme, the new Yarrow light, Yarrow light theme as well. So let's quickly jump into that before we do anything. So let's get tweaks open. Right, so go to appearance. I've also installed the user theme gnome shell extension. So in the applications here, let's pop that over to Yaru Light. And as you can see, it's got a very adwatery look to it. So if you open up your file manager there, um, I'm not sure what the difference between Yaru Dark and Yaru is. Let's have a look. Ah, very dark. That's quite nice. Um, let's leave it as that for now. Okay, so let's just have a little poke around and set this up as if we was doing a new install of a, a stable release. So what I usually would do is remove the <coughs> Ubuntu doc. I can't remember what sudo I have to remove Ubuntu doc no, extend. I can't remember what the command is, so I'm just going to Google it quickly. Du -du -du -du. I don't like the doc. I usually take it. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do something else. Let's get some extensions and we'll do dash to panel and see how that looks. Usually what, I'd in, or what I would do is install Plank and then just install a custom theme for it. Why have I done that? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll get dash to panel. Dash to dock, sorry. That's the one we want. And we'll install that. Install. Error. Okay, it's probably not working with Ubuntu Night. Here we go, look. Let's have a look at this. Okay, I'm not too fussed about that for now, we'll just we'll leave that as that. So I'm just going to remove it, we're just going to remove it like we was going to in the first place. So, uh, right, let's scroll down to the remove, there it is, name shell extension of a new doc, that's what it is. Right, let's just pop open a terminal. It's missed off the SU. Right, terminal's gone. Let's just install Plank as well. Let's just get some Plank themes for it. I like the shade theme. There's a web page. There we go. This is the web page. It has the one I want. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to pause the recording once we've installed this and then reboot. So let's just quickly download this. It's open plank anyway for the moment. Okay. So let's just get shade and anti shade. I quite like those two. And we'll extract them to dot local share plank and then themes okay, on. I recently spilt a whole cup of coffee on this laptop so touchpad's not working as it should and keys are sticky I'm not getting a very nice feedback from the keys at all so let's extract them here bang and let's just show the files to make sure it's done it as it should plank themes boom 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 cool and then let's just quickly change that to shade Bring it down a bit. Okay, and then let's reboot.
And we're back. As you can see, the Ubuntu dock is gone. Um, I don't like having icons on my desktops. Let's also remove that in tweaks. Extensions. Desktop icons. It says it's not on, but if you just go into the settings here and then uncheck them, it'll go away. Okay. What do we all think of the new wallpaper? I actually quite like it, it's probably one of my favourite ones of the latest releases. Um, let's open up Plank, we forgot to add it to our auto start at boot, so we'll do that now as well. And just go to add. Okay, so that will open up boot. Right, let's see if any of the other extensions work, because I don't like, I actually quite like the dynamic panel transparency so I'm going to see if we can get that back I'll tell you what let's just jump over to here it might not be working with this release of GNOME yet though that ships with Ubuntu 19.10 we'll give it a go this is the one that still works usually so let's give it a go install come on there we go so now if we open up tweaks again Then we go to extensions and dynamic panel transparency. I don't like it fully transparent when there's not a maximized window. So what I do is enable custom opacity, 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 whatever. Um, and I bring it to usually about 36. Let's see what that looks like. It takes a second to sort of catch up with itself. There it is. Um, not too bad. Does it match the plank at the bottom yeah kind of okay so then what that should now do is when I full screen it will then go dark and then there you go it goes transparent again like I'm um, to 18.04 does <clears throat> okay let's just have a look at the settings see if the settings page is looking any different Um, no, it's fairly stout. I do like this Yaru Dark theme actually. And I do quite like the light theme. Let's pop the light theme on and have a little look around with that and activate it. So let's go back to tweaks. And we'll get appearance, themes. Where are we? Light. There we go. What do we think about this? I don't mind it. I actually prefer it to Adwata. I think it's nicer, looks more modern. Your files manager there. Let's go to hidden files. I think that looks quite a clean, clean look. I'd probably match it with a different theme for the top panel sort of thing, the shell. Right, let's just install a arc theme and see what that looks like on here. Let's also install HTOP. <clears throat> and GIMP. Do we want GIMP? No, it's just all the effects for now. Don't need GIMP on the page, I'm not going to be doing anything on here. Let's pop open tweaks again. And let's see if. Oh, that's not tweaks. Let's see how the arc theme looks on here. It should just look fairly simple, standard as it usually does across their different ver versions. Um, appearance, applications, arc dark is what I like. There we go, that's very nice. Um, the only problem is I bet the shell, I bet when you switch desktops, it has a horrible interface. Um, let's just go into keyboard settings. So usually with Arc it gives you a very big sort of workspace switcher. Let's have a look. Um, move window one workspace. Move to workspace above, super page up. Oh, God, it's a horrible setup. Um, let's just change that a minute. I don't want it to interfere with mine, so let's just do super control. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's do the same for that, but with down. Okay, so 
Oh, that's not as bad actually. No, oh, that looks quite nice. No, I like that. Right, what we're going to do is reboot, check what the... This is on a virtual machine by the way, but we're going to reboot and see what memory it's using at boot. And then we'll sort of have a look at the applications it comes installed with and have a little poke around. <coughs> Sorry. And we're back. Right, let's pop open a terminal. Terminal shortcuts doesn't seem to be working. Oh, I think I'm getting any response from anything. Have we crashed? I think we've hit our first crash. It is a beta. Okay, let's pop out of this. Make sure OBS is still running as it should. Lovely. Let's pop back over to here. All right, we're just going to cold turn this off straight like that and then restart it. Let's pop that back into full screen. Alright, let's uh, fingers crossed it starts this time and doesn't stop. Fans are spinning up again. Are we moving? Alright, we're moving. Let's try and get. There we go. Open up the terminal. And then let's open up HTOP. And we're at 772, 789, 800, 838, I think that's where we stopped. 838, okay. So let's get out of here. I don't like the way this terminal looks, so let's just quickly change that. It's because it's the arc darker theme, it always has like a white body. So let's not use that. Let's not use that. Let's bring it up a little bit to about there. And then what we'll do is remove the scrolling bar. Okay. And there we have it, Ubuntu Ian Army Development Beta. Kernel 5.3.0.13 generic. So let's have a look at what it comes installed with. So you've got a couple of games, name games. You've got Amazon again, lovely, well hey. Um, calculator, calendar, cheese. Document Viewer, Firefox for your web browser, Nautilus for your file manager, LibreOffice for your office suite, Remina for remote desktops, Ubuntu Software Store, Thunderbird for your mail, Transmission for your torrent, Rhythmbox for your music, and Shotwell for your image images. Um, I believe that's probably get it there for your text editing. And then you'll have Deja Vu, Deja Dark, whatever you want to call it, for your backups, System Monitor etc. So if we pop open the store, let's have a look at the store. There we go, not much has changed here. I'm just going to see what version of GIMP it actually has in its store, let's see if it's finally on 2.10. There we go, 2.10. Cool. I quite like the, the icons, um, the icons are nice. Right, let's get a new desktop here, new wallpaper, see if it comes with any other nice new ones. What's that? Interesting. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, it's a nice way of changing your wallpaper as well. So back in the day you had to, well it just wasn't as simple as that. I quite like that. Do you know what, I think this is the nicer wallpaper packs of the recent ones. I think that's pretty cool. Um, what else is there? What else have we got? Oh, no, that's about it. I do like these though. Um, let's try. Let's have a look at this one. 
Mm hmm, not bad. So there you have it. 18 point, uh, blah, 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 Ubuntu 19.10 beta release. Um, go and give it a go. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download the ISO, spin it up in a virtual machine, and let me know what you think. Um, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.